Hi students, welcome to Year 12 Chemistry and Module 5 Equilibrium and Acid Reactions. Uh, this is video number 6 where we start to look at um, how we can change what's happening in an equilibrium system. So we're going to focus on the effect of temperature first of all. In order for us to start analysing these equilibria, what we need to do is realise that there are certain factors that we can change in with respect to each of these different equilibrium systems that we've been examining in order to see what happens as a result. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be invoking Le Chatelier's principle. Le Chatelier's principle says when a system's in equilibrium, uh, sorry, when a system in equilibrium is subject to a change in concentration, temperature, external pressure, or some other factor which upsets the equilibrium, the system reacts in such a way as to counteract that change. Basically, if you do something to a system, the system tries to shift in order to undo that change, to reverse what it was that you did. There are three factors which are very important in equilibrium systems, the first of which um, I have already mentioned, temperature, and that's one that we will have a look at in this particular video. Uh, the concentration uh, of both reactants or products can be important, as well as the pressure and uh, for gases, the volume specific, specifically relating to gases that are present. When we talk about equilibria, we tend to talk about two different types of equilibria. Uh, homogeneous, these are often easier to um, deal with because say all species are gases. There's ways that we can deal with the fact that all the species are gases um, and look at them both in terms of their concentration and their pressure or volume. Um, but occasionally we have a heterogeneous equilibria. So something where maybe we warm a solid, the solid uh, turns into um, perhaps another solid and or liquid and or gas. Uh, and then we have a combination of different types of states of matter, as well as um, different substances being produced. And this can um, sometimes make things a little bit easier, uh, sometimes it makes things a little bit more complex. So we're going